HHO is truly remarkable and commercially viable for many industries. Some of the applications for the HHO gas, one of them being aluminum fusion, where we can actually fuse uh, various metals together. Another application is in the brazing arena, where we use one gas, where they're normally using two gases. We get a stronger braze, we get it faster, and it's all done with one gas. In steel cutting, this is from a Triton submarine. Very, very high alloy steel. We cut this 30% faster. We cut it with a number four tip where they normally take a number 10, so we use less gas. This is HY100 steel, and we got very little hydrogen embrittlement. This is a standard piece of carbon steel. As you can see, it's rusty. We took this piece in 2001. We ran our gas across the surface, and normally in Florida, steel starts oxidizing in, in the first 24 hours. We don't know how long this is going to last, but it's been years. We've had this piece submerged under water, still no oxidation. HHO has proven itself to be an enabling technology in any industry requiring welding, cutting, soldering, fusing, or heating. My first opportunity to work with the HHO gas was about nine months ago in the offices of the hydrogen technology company. And uh, the end result was unbelievable. Joseph Spencer, an artist in the Tampa Bay area, has nearly 40 years of experience in glass and enamel. HHO gas, the color difference is unbelievable in the fact that with HHO, it's beautifully crystal clear, whereas with uh, propane or acetylene, you end up with a gray, muddy look, which apparently is from the gas itself. And you can't do anything about it, but you're stuck with it. Basically what I'm doing right at the moment is I'm heating a copper ball and we're putting it into the HHO gas. And as an end result, the heating is almost instant. And I'm applying the enamel to it, dark blue, and then we return it to the HHO gas. Get the ball red hot. One of the nice things in this particular case with the HHO is that I don't have to do it more than twice. And then we're going to a mix. This mix is a combination of clear and white enamel. And as an end result, we'll end up with a snowflake bead. HHO is so clear, so hot, and so pure that you end up with an absolutely beautiful bead. Another huge advantage of the gas is its sheer economy. Our cost of running our HHO generator the entire day, including distilled water, which I get from the local grocery store, and our total electricity consumption is less than $7 a day. Furthermore, we never worry about running out of gas. As long as you can flip a switch and pour a little water, you've got all the gas you want. Dee Cruz is a copper artist in Cape Fear, North Carolina. One of the most signature traits of his artwork are the vibrant colors brought out in the copper by the HHO gas. In fact, much of Dee's work would be impossible without HHO gas. Okay, now we're cutting a palm tree top. This is a, a small palm tree, and this is a fairly intricate piece. You notice how cleanly it cuts and how little molten material it leaves. Uh, as she comes back down this leaf in particular, notice how the entire leaf is cherry red without falling off or, or melting away. We couldn't do that with any other gas. So the, the most outstanding and profound thing about HHO gas is that it represents something that is so totally unique, so completely different, and so absolutely new, that I think that it goes beyond being simply a new form of energy. And re in reality, as time goes on, will be proven to become or develop into an entirely new branch of science. That day may already have arrived. HHO's ability to bond with gaseous fuels and liquid fuels, such as diesel and gasoline, not only improves their thermal content, but the environmental quality of their exhaust as well. And, in contrast to hydrogen fuel cell technology, HHO is much safer and does not require any changes to the current fuel infrastructure.
plus HHO is available today and can be retrofitted to any car currently on the road. This is our latest hydrogen on demand vehicle. It has a 1.9 liter engine and as you can see we've made very little modifications. Totally different than the fuel cell where they're operating at up to 10,000 pound PSI. This car drives at 55 PSI and we make the hydrogen on demand, no storage. They store 10,000 PSI in a tank, which is like driving a hydrogen bomb. We put an upgraded alternator to make the electricity. The electricity is sent back to the electrolyzer where we make our very unique HHO gas. The gas is brought back up through this hose and injected down into the engine. This particular vehicle, we've gotten up over 51% fuel economy. The exhaust on this car has had no modifications. It still has the original catalytic converter. And we just get a little bit of steam and water with very good emissions and no CO2. The nice part about it is this vehicle is ready today, not 30 years on down the line with the fuel cell people. HHO Gas. It's here, it's now, it's evolutionary. HHO Gas is now being marketed to the public as Aqua